All right, this video is to have some shots fired, not to hurt anybody's feelings, but to just get people on the right path. And Kirby, I'm sure you've dealt with this more, but yesterday, or maybe not yesterday, but the day before, um, a friend of mine had called about his son who is 19, and I gave him some tips on what to invest in simple i said 75 percent spy 25 percent qqq and just left it at that very simple index funds partially aggressive more conservative and mm -hmm. that's always my recommendation to people just invest in those if just to understand the market see it go up see it go down see some return into your account and just start to get a feel for what the market is before you start getting into um, single shares and, or single stock companies and things like that. Because you don't... Good advice. To. So <clears throat> I get a call from him and I mean, we're just talking about whatever. And then we get on to the topic of investing and then he's doing that. And he's doing great. You know, he's investing hard in the S&P 500. He started investing in the NASDAQ. And his son, who was in, interested in investing, he didn't want to invest in that. And instead, he went with his friend's advice and bought AMC. And so, <laughs> yeah. so I don't know why people do this. And so to those watching... It may not sound sexy investing in an index fund, investing in a mutual fund, in an ETF. But the way I look at it is, look at the people that maybe made some money on GameStop, AMC, maybe made a couple grand. But look at the people that invest in the S&P 500, invest in boring stocks, and look at their net worth. And that's all. We always talk about actions over words. What has someone accomplished? I'd rather look at Warren Buffett, who has just Berkshire Hathaway in his personal portfolio and is worth over $100 billion. Then look at some kid who maybe made 50 grand on AMC and then blew it all within a year. It's this is the only thing I look at. And it's just mind boggling because these kids or people, their infatuation is with the money. They want the money, but it's like you want $50,000 now or the chance, not even the guarantee, the, not in the guarantee to make that amount, but you see someone make a couple grand on this meme stock and you'd rather have that than wait some years and reach millions of dollars billions and it's just i cannot comprehend it but for real I'll and, and i mean let's i mean let's let's unpack this uh you know my favorite line is question information there's literally a movie that just came out oh uh, let me see i'm gonna I'm get it it's called dumb money that's the name of it. Dumb Money. It just came out. It was a it was a movie about the big short squeeze on GameStop, AMC, and things like that. Really? Okay. Yeah. It just okay. came out. It showed how people made money and then lost it real fast. So this 19-year-old, it's history right there in his face. And then he jumped and followed the same thing that people just lost a crap ton of money on. Yeah. And yes, it happens all the time. I hear people, and th and this is when I say it's a pet peeve of mine, and I I should be used to it by now, but I'm I'm I never will. People will ask a question. They know the success that I have doing different ventures, and then they will waste my time, and they will spend hours wasting my time, and then some. Body will call them that at the same level that they are or broken than they are and give them some great idea that don't make sense. And then they jump on that idea. I mean, it happens in all facets of life. 
And you just sit there and you wonder, now I just wonder, why did you waste my time? Because I'm not going to change what I'm doing. But why are you wasting my time and you going to go to the, the, the lottery ticket that it is? And that's what it is. People have, we talk about microwave society, instant gratification. That's what it, what, that's what they want. He think that, oh, if I put a thousand dollars in here, it'll get up to $50,000 tomorrow. They, that, that's the route they want. The quickest way. Instead of saying, hey, if I just keep investing a hundred dollars into these two index funds every month or on a scheduled period of time and then over a long a long period of time then i will be in a great financial situation so it's it's the balance of get rich quick or get rich for short but everybody want it quick i don't know the get rich quick scheme i don't trust me i tried a lot of them they none of them worked i was the guy on the infomercials trying to do all the schemes to try to you know make the quick money for years and it just kept putting me more and more in debt, more and more in debt. And, and then, so I pivoted and then I went to the way of the way of, Hey, just get there for sure. And then you start seeing it compound on top of each other, compound and compound and compound. And you're like, Oh, this is the way, but you see it all the time. I mean, Warren Buffett, how many times have he sit there and said, only thing people need to do because you don't have the time, the knowledge and the know-how to analyze individual stocks. You don't have the patience for individual stocks. You don't have the resources that he has for individual stocks. He tell everybody, just invest in the S&P 500. FYI, money managers swindle people out of money every day in the United States and around the world, convincing them that they can get a better return than the S&P 500 or the SPY index. Only 5%. Only 5% of money managers can beat the S&P 500. One out of three years. Not consistently over a long period of time. When I say a long period of time, 20, 30 years. Warren Buffett is one that can beat the index. Berkshire Hathaway is the stock for if anybody's uh, wondering. But there's not many out there. So if you can't beat the market, why don't you just be the market? If you be the market, you know you're going to average between 9 and 11% over a long period of time. Instead of gambling, trying to get that 15, 18% every other year, maybe. But 95% of the money managers cannot beat the S&P 500. And, and it's funny. So uh, my brother, he was leaving a job and then he had his 401k. And then I told him, hey, you need to roll your 401k over. And then I gave him, you know, a couple companies out there that he could roll his uh, 401k over to. And then he called and then he so he called the company and then they was trying to convince him, hey, let me just manage your money. Let me manage your money. And and then so he called me on three way and then he called me on three way and then and then I just started talking. Then the, the uh, guy on from the investment side, investment banking side was like, hey, I need your permission to talk to him. And then my brother gave him permission. And then I said, what's your track record of beating the S&P 500? Then he started bumbling and stumbling. Then he started giving me the corporate speak. And then I said, no, all of this money is going into the S&P 500. That's it. Now you fast forward that money 3x. The fund that he was trying to get my brother to get into that's managed, actively managed by his company. Since the time my brother put the money in there to the time at 3X and the S&P 500, their fund was only up 22% over that span. Not annually, 22% total. And that's what's going on in, in the world today. Just... Yeah. Just be the market, people. Be the market. Don't try to beat it. And that's the best way to go. But you gave great advice. 75% in S&P 500, 25% in NASDAQ to get a little bit more aggressive and going about it. I mean, now, if you want to dabble a little bit and, and fudge the numbers, you can maybe go, you know, 
No, I'm just going to say stick with 7525. Don't even go to individual stocks and all that other crazy crap. Because that's the tool. I mean, you get some dividends uh, payments out of there. And then I know what people are going to do if they look up the QQQs, if they look up the S&P 500, they're going to like, oh, that's 400 and some dollars a share. Oh, that's 200 and some dollars a share. Well, do this. Invest in that index mutual fund. It's a mutual fund that tracks the S&P 500, that tracks the NASDAQ 100. And then the prices are way lower if everybody just gets sticker shot. But percentages are percentages. If the NASDAQ go up 5%, your money's going to go up 5%. If, if you're in an index fund and you feel more comfortable just seeing a lower number when the NASDAQ go up 5%, your index fund is going to go up 5%. It's still the same 5%. But people get sticker shot for the stock price. So... That's the alternative so you can lose the ticker shock. So instead of paying 400 and some dollars, you could pay 20 or 30 some dollars. But the percentage will be the percentage will be the percentage. But still, over 100 years, the S&P 500 has went up between 9 and 11% for the past 100 years. And that's the safest route to go if you need to and you want to aggressively invest. And everybody needs to uh, invest to have a better financial future but alex what else you got yeah i was looking at amc too and it's funny because i had told this uh i had told my friend uh this advice or whatever um a couple of months back and i looked at the price of amc and it went from like ten dollars to six dollars and my mother-in-law who has uh who i've been helping her invest has just been investing in the S&P 500. And within about a month and a half, it's up 8%. And so it's just, it's just, it's right there. It's like people do not think, and I think that's what it is, is they look at these index funds and they get sticker shocked and then they don't understand it. They're like, what, what do you mean? It's 500 stocks in one. And it just looks boring. And, but the reality is it brings results. It doesn't matter what AMC is doing or GameStop or these. The other one is pharmaceutical companies. Everyone wants to invest in the new, oh, they got robot arms. Like, just invest in something that's simple. It doesn't matter. But with all that being said, guys, hit the like button. Let us know any questions you may have in the comment section. Subscribe, share, and we'll see you guys in the next one.